And good morning to you, Jan. Right now, we're taking a live look over two government houses. You can see right here at odds today, Washington, D.C. officials versus the state of Texas. The battle over securing the southern border with a major development overnight. A federal appeals court just put SB4 back on hold just hours after a divided Supreme Court had allowed Texas to begin enforcing it. Now, SB4 would make illegal crossings at the border a Class B misdemeanor with up to six months in jail. But repeat offenders could face a second degree felony that carries up to 20 years in prison. Now, the law also requires state judges to order migrants return to Mexico if they are convicted. Mexico's foreign ministry says it categorically rejects us before and that Mexico will not accept deportations made by Texas, quote, under any circumstances. Now, this comes as we learned that migrant encounters at the U.S.-Mexico border hit a record high at the end of 2023. U.S. Border Patrol reported nearly 250,000 encounters in December alone, surpassing the pre previous monthly high of 224,000 in May of 2022. Now, oral arguments on SB4 are expected in court today. That bill is just one of many legal disputes between Texas and the White House over how far the state can go to prevent illegal crossings into Texas. GOP governors are backing Texas here, saying the federal government is not doing enough to enforce our laws. All right, Angela.